Hi, my name is Asif Khan. I'm a cloud solution architect at Microsoft. In today's discussion, we will be talking about Azure DevOps and the integration of Azure DevOps with GitHub. So the good part about Azure DevOps is it's a platform which is software as a service from Microsoft Azure ecosystem. And uh, it has a full suite of different objects, which is like you can have boards for project management, you have repos for code and version control, you have pipelines, CI, CD for continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment. You have test suite, you have your artifact management system as well. Now, the thing is that Azure DevOps has this full suite, but uh, of recent, we, we have seen that GitHub is very popular in the development committee, community, and a lot of different organizations have started using it for enterprise as well as startup purposes. So all the startups or whether enterprise, they are pretty much aligning toward GitHub. So Microsoft uh, obviously recently bought GitHub a while back, and then the question was like, uh, can we have uh, some model where we can integrate Azure DevOps with GitHub because GitHub has all the different uh, interesting capabilities about version control and with GitHub Actions you can you can run basically the pipelines of CI, CD and whatnot. But the the one of the key feature which was missing in GitHub was around the project management which is available in Azure DevOps. So the thought was around from the product team was to how we can integrate the Azure boards with GitHub so that we can have the best of both worlds. So firstly, I'll walk you through some uh, some model of how Azure DevOps um, runs in its own silos. So we have project management capability in Azure DevOps using the Azure boards. So you can do project management, backlogs, progress reporting, and you can link your artifacts and all that stuff in Azure DevOps board. And this is a one-stop shop for any project manager or uh, project orchestrator or project owner. Now in the repos, which is a part of Azure DevOps, where you can have TFS or Git option as a, as a repo type, and then you can provide this to your developers. And then the next one is about the release and build processes, which can be done through the CI CD pipeline. Now, taking the next stage, which is uh, obviously all this is good and, and one-stop shop, but yeah, this is not uh, normally seen in, in most of the startups or enterprises in, in current situation is that they use everything in Azure DevOps. So they have teams who are working on GitHub. So there are scenarios where teams are fully on Azure DevOps. There are scenarios where teams are fully on GitHub. And then there are some teams who are working in both the environment. So the thing is that what product team at Microsoft thought about, can we have some way of integrating the Azure DevOps experience, which is Azure DevOps board for the project management purposes and GitHub for all the dev and build and release processes. So that's where we come up with our today's area of discussion and that's around the Azure DevOps integration with GitHub. So as I said, we already have all the project management capabilities and project planning capabilities in Azure DevOps board. Uh, and we have all the dev capabilities in our GitHub environment. So we can use uh, this integration in the middle and get the best of both worlds. So the project manager can stick and work out their things in Azure DevOps board and then the developers and the technical or DevOps team or the technical team can just focus on the GitHub and um, they can have the best of the two environments without any other specific uh, compromise by, uh, from one party which is like the project management or the dev team. Now, uh, I'll show you everything on the portal experience side of things because uh, that's what we will be covering today. Uh, you can do the same things using Azure. Uh, you can do yeah, Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio or any other dev tools. So you can use it with it. You can implement that everything which I am showing you today through a CLI experience um, using for, for any Git interactions. But just for intuitive purposes, I'll be showing everything through the portal experience. So firstly, we'll, I'll show you something on, on the GitHub, uh, on the Azure DevOps site. So what I have is I have an organization, uh, GitHub uh, integration, and then in that I have created a project, GitHub Boards. Uh, and at this stage, this entire project is pretty clean. There is nothing much in it. And if I go inside the boards, uh, I don't have any item. Now, the thing is that we need to integrate our GitHub artifacts and GitHub activities to the board. Um, that That is basically the um, starting or the requirement for our, uh, our integration use case. So what I'll do is uh, in a normal um, 
project or in a, in a normal day activity of a project manager you basically uh, you come across some issues or some sort of uh, challenges and then uh, we basically report it into azure devops so what i'll do is i'll create a new item as an issue and i'll just mark its name as issue one so what you can see over here is I have just created an issue. Obviously, there is not much information, but yeah, it's just a vanilla and I have got an ID of two for this particular issue. So as at this stage, as a project manager in a real world scenario will come and fill this, all these description details and areas and iteration and whatnot. And then he will pass it on that. Yeah, this needs to be done by the tech team, fix it. Now as a tech team, you need to basically come and change the code or make changes in your application side of things or um, yeah, if it is infrastructure, infrastructure side of things to get this issue sorted. So we'll see a developer experience. So again, it's on the portal side. You can have the same experience. You can do it through the CLI or through Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. So what I have on the dev, um, GitHub side is I have created a GitHub repository and uh, it's just a vanilla. We have license and readme file in this. In order to build the integration, we need to install a plugin first and that plugin we can get it from the um, from the marketplace so i'll come into the marketplace i'll just search for boards so if i search that and if i click on it so as you can see i can get uh, i've got azure boards and if i scroll down it says uh, yeah it gives a little bit brief overview of what this particular plugin is and then it's all free so no charge i'll just install it so once i install it uh, it, it should be quick and just i'll say continue and uh, yeah so the installation is happening in the background hopefully it should have done and then what it does is uh, by default it's selected um, the specific repository you can also have all repositories selected or you can have uh, any specific so in my case i'm just selecting my github boards repository and i'll just click save so once i click save it will now navigate me to azure devops uh, and the reason being is because that's what the integration we are trying to build and as i showed you i have already created a, a particular uh, organization as well as a project which is all inside in my kana one at hotmail.com account so i'll just log in with the same account so once i do that it will give me a wizard yeah it shows me yeah which organization do you want to connect to i'll say yeah, i want to connect to github integration uh, organization and then uh, there's a project so it's already selected and then i can just say continue so once i say continue now the basically the collaboration between my uh, Azure DevOps and GitHub um, has happened. And that's what you can see over here. It shows that the GitHub connection has already been sorted out. So this is the project setting area, but it shows yeah that the GitHub is already integrated with your uh, particular board project, GitHub board project, which I have. So now what I'll do is I'll quickly uh, open my GitHub. Uh, okay, so that's my GitHub, uh, not this one. I'll go into my repos and I'll say GitHub boards. So that's my repo. And yep, so we already have um, an item in our Azure DevOps board. So what we will do is um, just like a regular developer experience, uh, you would be using your IDE. I'll just show on the portal. Uh, we, I'll just create a new file. I'll name the file as data.txt. And then I'll say some sample data. And I'll just check that in for file to for our starting point. So I'll just commit it on the master branch. Uh, so let's say this is the file which exists and we need to fix something in this file as per our issue reported by the project manager. So what I'll do over here is just like uh, I'll, I'll check out this file. So I'll create it for edit and then I'll say I'm just fixing the issue one. Oh, sorry, uh, issue, yep, issue one and then yeah, so now what I'll do is I'll basically make a commit, but uh, I'll not commit it on the master branch. I'll just follow the PR request process uh, and the the PR process, pull request process will help us in having a better uh, real world experience where the developer checks in the code as a PR request and then the PR would be validated by a team or a tech lead and then it merges back into the master. So during my, uh, my uh, entire PR process. Firstly, I'll have to create a separate branch. So I'll just create a branch name issue one. And then, um, yeah, and before I do the comment, I need to fill in the comments. Now here is the catch. 
and you need to be very very sure about when you are typing these comments because that's how the all the integration will happen between the azure devops and your github environment so what i mean by that is i'll quickly show you some documentation so if you look into the azure devops uh, and github integration documentation the link a github commits is and, and pull request and everything al alongside it basically needs a pattern so if you don't follow a pattern it will not be able to link that now that pattern is more about ab is universal irrespective to whatever you are doing you will have to use this two key key alphabets a and b which is azure boards and hash is the delimiter and then you will have to put the id now the id which is referred over here is the id which i was talking about on the azure devops side so in this case we have an id two so what we will do is we'll make a comment. So I'll say commit, you can type anything, but you need to have that particular pattern in that uh, comment. Otherwise it will not uh, be visible on the Azure DevOps. So I'll just say hash and two, that was my ID. You can put whatever comments you want over here. Uh, I'll leave it for now. And then I'll say, I need to propose the change into a new branch. I can come over here. I can see a new branches all over here. Now, now we need to just, uh, Test, uh, test the waters and see if uh, whatever I was saying happened or not. So if you can see over here, I have commit AB2. That's my commit, which has happened. So in a normal world, again, um, because I did a commit on a separate branch, I get a create pull request option. I go into the code. Uh, again, it, uh, it the code, um, I can see that, that my file is there. But if I come over into my pull request, um, as you can see, I have this, uh, open uh, I, I don't have any open pull request so what i can do is uh, yeah um, um, this is where i i shows that uh, there is one change which i have done in my file and uh, yeah so i can create a pull request so i'll just go and i'll say i'll create a new pull request and uh, so now as it says because i have both the branches same so i i should select a different branch so i've just selected a separate branch so my base branch is uh, that and uh, so it shows zero changes that's interesting so let me go back and see uh, what is the status over here so i can see this is my okay so there are zero changes that's anyways no problem so what we'll do is we'll um, we'll do the change again and i'll come back over here and i'll say so this is our main branch and i'll just say issue one uh, a b azure boards two and i'll just put the commit a b hash two and i'll create a new branch out of this so i'll create a issue id two issue id two that's my branch name and then what i'll do is i'll just create a proposed change so when i do this as you saw i've done it the second time so if i come over here it should show again the ab2 is it's um, it's visible over here so now what i'll do is i'll create a pull request over here that's all good so i'll just say uh, pr and ab2 just for uh, for linking so i'll create a pull request and when i come back over here now you can say i see i have a pr ab2 the third step is again just like a regular process i've done my verification the code looks all good whatever changes were done are not impacting anything so i'll just create a merge so i'll say mr and again everything if you look at is aligned to this ab ab hash 2 is what build is building this entire correlation now here is uh, the inter interesting piece you can make a commit as is and that will be all fine now the thing is that if we make a commit in this fashion uh, the updates will all, all be visible over here but if you look at the entire experience side we are still in the to-do state so that's that's the particular state of our item issue one now one option is I can make a commit over merge over here and that will basically add another item and all the things are done. Somebody can come over here, take this item, pull it over there and that's it, the done, it's done. Now, but can we also automate that part as well? And that's where 
we will have the least possible friction in the entire experience so what you can do is you can there are a couple of additional patterns and, and uh, attributes which can be added in the comments and that would make this entire uh, state management or state change uh, also very much automated so what i'll do over here is if i come over here and if i'll show you the uh, documentation if you look into the documentation they have specified some details of how you can even change the state so let's say if you use this keyword fixed and if you do that it will automatically change the state and there are other attribute and, and ways of doing a fix or, or moving the state for multiple items are also listed in this in documentation so I'll, I'll share this link in the in the video as uh, in the bottom of the video so yeah you can refer that so what I'll do is I'll, I'll use this all my keywords but I'll add that fix AV2 and what I'll do is I'll just show you the experience side of things so I'll run it in side by side. So we have done a commit, we have our AB2 and we have our pull request as well. So now if I go and say uh, confirm merge, so it would basically do a merge. And as you can see, the merge process automatically moved my particular item from issue one from my to-do state to done state. And again, I didn't have to do anything. So just for sanity, I'll cl clean the branch and my code is all up to date. So if I look at the code, um, that's my file. It's all looks good, whatever required. And then obviously on the board side, my board status is also updated according to my changes I've done in GitHub. So without anyone getting into Azure DevOps, the DevOps board has been updated with the specific task. And as a project manager, I can see the updates. And obviously as uh, as a developer also, if I have get a, if I'm asked to correlate what activities have been done, I can go and correlate that uh, using the links which have been generated in the particular uh, issue item which I created. So yeah, it's very much detailed documented. I have shown very, uh, the the tip of the iceberg you can basically make it more enriched and all obviously all the links over here are pretty much will navigate you to the github in experience so this is my commit uh, if i go to my pr it will take to my pr request which would be in this case merged but yeah you can see all the details about that pr request happened so yeah it's uh, very uh, deeply integrated a very streamlined very smooth experience uh, i would highly recommend for any team which is working on both of these tools and have been challenged for how to integrate the two to use uh, the github integration and uh, hopefully this video was helpful uh, please do comments and like and let me know if you have any questions uh, in the q a section in the below area i will be i'll try to answer them as early as possible thanks a lot for watching this have a good day.